Smart Draw Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Smart Draw. Smart Draw is a powerful diagramming tool that simplifies the process of creating professional visuals. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the essential features and functionalities of Smart Draw, from setting up your account to creating various types of diagrams. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using SmartDraw, the first step is to create an account. To do this, open a web browser and type SmartDraw Sign Up in the search bar, such as Google or any other search engine. Hit enter and wait for the search results to appear. Among the search results, look for the one that says Sign Up and click on it. This will direct you to the SmartDraw registration page where you can create a new account. On the registration page, you will find various options to sign up for a new account. You can either sign up using your email address or through your Google account. Choose the preferred option that suits you best and proceed with the sign-up process. After successfully signing up, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. This is where you can start exploring the features and functionalities of SmartDraw as well as begin creating your own diagrams and visualizations. Once you access the dashboard in SmartDraw, you'll notice a left menu that organizes the available features into three sections, My Documents, Import, and New Document. Under the My Documents section, you can conveniently access your recent documents. This includes the files that you have been working on, making it easy to resume your progress. Additionally, you can view and manage the Smart Draw documents you have created. Furthermore, there is an option called Add Service where you can integrate popular cloud storage services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft SharePoint, and Box with your Smart Draw account. The Import section allows you to import files into Smart Draw. You can import files in three different formats, Visio file, SmartDraw file, and Lucid chart file. This feature enables you to work seamlessly with files from other diagramming tools or collaborate with colleagues who use different platforms. Under the New Document section, you will find a variety of templates available for creating new diagrams. These templates are categorized into different groups such as Popular Templates, Extensions, Shape Data, Agile Workflow, Brainstorming and Ideation, and more. This categorization makes it easier to find the right starting point for your specific diagramming needs. In addition to the left menu, on the top right-hand side of the dashboard, you have additional options. You can change the language settings to a specific language of your choice. SmartDraw supports a wide range of languages, allowing you to use the software comfortably in your preferred language. Furthermore, you can switch between grid and list view to customize your dashboard's appearance. Additionally, you have the ability to sort templates and SmartDraw documents by date or title, providing flexibility in organizing your files. Now, let's see how to create a diagram in SmartDraw. To draw diagrams in SmartDraw, you have two options, creating a diagram from scratch or using pre-built templates. If you prefer to start from scratch, you can click on the New Document section in the left menu. Then select the Popular Template category. From there, select Blank Diagram. This will take you to a new page where you can begin creating a diagram of your own design, tailored to your specific needs. Alternatively, if you'd like to use a pre-built template, SmartDraw offers a wide range of options. In the New Document section, you can explore various categories of templates. For example, you can click on the Popular category to access the most frequently used templates. Once you select this category, you'll be presented with a list of popular templates that you can choose from. If you have a specific type of diagram in mind, you can explore other categories within the template library. SmartDraw provides templates for different purposes, such as flowcharts, org charts, floor plans, mind maps, and more. Simply browse through the available categories to find the template that best matches your intended diagram. Once you have selected a template, you can customize it according to your requirements. SmartDraw offers a user-friendly interface with a variety of editing tools and features. You can modify shapes, add text, connect elements, change colors, and apply different formatting options to create a visually appealing and informative diagram. Let's say you want to use the mind map template. Navigate to the popular category of templates and click on the mind map option. This will take you to the editor interface where you can customize the mind map template to suit your preferences and requirements. The SmartDraw editor interface is designed to provide a seamless and intuitive diagramming experience. It consists of three main sections, the top bar, the left menu, and the main canvas. The top bar of the editor contains various tabs that offer different functionalities. These tabs include File, Home, Design, Insert, Page, Table, Options, and Support. These tabs allow you to access different features and tools to manage your diagram. 
The left menu in SmartDraw's editor is particularly helpful for building and editing your diagrams. It provides options to add sub-maps, change the format of your mind map, and import or export files as needed. This menu serves as a convenient toolbox to enhance your diagram's structure and appearance. The main canvas is where your chosen template, in this case, the mind map, is displayed. It is the central area where you can see and edit the template. The canvas provides ample space for you to add and organize your thoughts, ideas, and concepts within the mind map structure. You can easily customize the elements, such as adding branches, adjusting their positions, and adding relevant text. Customizing the template in SmartDraw is a straightforward process that allows you to tailor it to your preferences. You can easily make changes using the top bar and the left menu options. To modify the text within a box in the mind map template, select the entire text within the specific box and replace it with your own desired text. This gives you the flexibility to customize the content of each box in your mind map template according to your needs. If you want to adjust the size of a box, simply click on the box to select it. You will notice black squares appearing on the borders of the box. Hover over these squares and you will see an arrow cursor. You can drag the arrow inwards or outwards to decrease or increase the size of the box accordingly. This resizing capability allows you to expand or shrink boxes to accommodate the amount of text or information you want to include. If you want to add more shapes to your mind map, navigate to the top bar and click on the Home tab. Within this tab, you will find various options. Select the Shape option and a drop-down menu will appear presenting different shape options such as rectangle, oval, square, and circle. Choose the desired shape you want to add to your mind map and drag it onto the main canvas. Once the shape is added, you can resize it as needed. Double-click on the center of the shape and enter the text you want to insert. This allows you to incorporate additional information or subtopics within your mind map. To connect shapes in the mind map, select the Line option within the Home tab. From the drop-down menu, choose the type of line you want to use for the connection. After selecting the line, you can then connect the shapes together by drawing lines between them. This helps in establishing relationships and visual connections between different elements of your mind map. Once you have customized your mind map in SmartDraw, it's important to save your work. To do this, navigate to the File tab in the top bar of the editor interface. From the drop-down menu, select the Save As option. This action will prompt a pop-up window to appear. In the pop-up window, you'll find a field labeled Name, where you can enter a name for your mind map. This allows you to give it a meaningful and descriptive title. Next, you'll need to choose the file format in which you want to save your mind map. Additionally, you can select the folder destination where you want to save your mind map. By default, SmartDraw allows you to save it within the application itself. However, you also have the option to save it to other cloud storage services like Google Drive, OneDrive, and more. This flexibility allows you to store and access your mind map from different platforms and devices. Once you have filled in the necessary details and chosen the appropriate settings, click on the Save button to save your mind map. This ensures that your customized mind map is securely stored and readily accessible for future use. If you want to export your mind map, SmartDraw provides an option to do so. At the bottom of the left menu, you will find the Export as Text File option. By selecting this option, you can export your mind map as a text file, specifically CSV, comma separated values format. This export functionality allows you to extract the content of your mind map in a structured format that can be used in other applications or shared with others. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using SmartDraw. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that. Thank you. We hoped you enjoyed this video and learned how to harness the power of this amazing diagramming tool. With SmartDraw, you can create stunning diagrams for any purpose using a variety of features and templates. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.